pipeline. But already, it looks like from the Ministry of Information's own press statement, just in the wee hours of yesterday, they had agreed with government as in when they met the President of the Republic, a number of actions. And then they also in turn inform the public otherwise, at least going by that press statement. So what does it mean? How do we make sure that we settle things? Because if you look at that statement, the number of actions, and part of um, those actions uh, do not include in any way that state of emergency that in the public domain they had been calling for. So let me just introduce to you Alfred Kojo Thompson. And um, good morning to you. It's been a while. And thank you for joining us once again. Good morning to you. Good morning, Roland. How are you doing? I'm well, sir. I'm well, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, and sir. Alfred. from Dr. Balbia. DMB, it is possible. 2024. Inshallah. OK. Uh, have you been appointed for any of the subsectors uh, to deal with for the campaign? No. OK. Oh, yeah. But you're just part of the main team. Yeah. All right. And then we also have Mr. Roxon Dapamakwa, legal practitioner, member of parliament for South Dine, who was on community manifesto the last week. Was it last week you were on community manifesto? Two weeks ago. Mm, you were devouring your MC. Was he MC or DC? DC. No, oh, you didn't, <laughs> didn't do well. Good morning to What's his name? Let me give him some hype before. He's contesting against you, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what's his name? Yes, it's called Dajawa. Okay. Uh, member, uh, the parliamentary candidate for the MPP, um, South Dine Dajawa. What's his first name? Kwame Dajawa. Kwame Dajawa. Good morning to you as well. It was good <laughs> having you on Community Manifesto. <laughs> and then political uh, advisor, advisor, eight to Alan Kojo Chiramanting, uh, very much well steeped in the movement for change. And then also the uh, alliances. I have Nana Yao Sapong. Nana Yao Sapong is a regular on the show now. As when the MPP decided to boycott, then they became the mainstay. So how are you? I love your shirt. Have I commented on this before? You, you've loved all my shirts. Okay. And great. of course, I'm, I would get you some, yourself and Bella, because I always see beautiful butterfly on the yellow new That's not why I said anything. <laughs> Go ahead. And, and I'll... <laughs> That's not why I said You opened the door. No. What? You I mean, you opened yeah. the door. Yeah. Yeah. The, man, the, man, the butterflies yeah. have been there even before you announced moving yeah. for change. Of course. And so it's on the base of that, I would <laughs> have to. to the D. Yes. And so I would get you one, yourself and Bella. And of course, <laughs> that would be for like um, an item 13 for you uh, <laughs> towards December. And, uh, of course. He admires yellow. You know our friend admires yellow Never. very well. I'm a blue guy. Yes, I mean, so, I mean, yes, he would sit here and say he's a blue with the yellow on, this is not yellow. on the... This yeah, brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's brown. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, so now let's take you through that, that press statement uh, by the Ministry of Information telling us that Labour apparently had agreed something with the President and um, they came, or they are in the public domain, also communicating um, otherwise. Well, what are they not telling us? And following that meeting, let's go up. They said the meeting discussed the long-standing issue of illegal mining and reviewed the situation and government effort uh, so far. And it was also agreed, and this is very important, the government will cooperate with organized labor and stakeholders in the fight against illegal mining. It continues in B by saying, government then is expected to take actions when parliament reconvenes. And it's good that we have a member of parliament here uh, this month to revoke that ally that has been under contention. And the ally is the... LI 2462. Continuously, government also is expected to ramp up its enforcement measures, especially on a prohibition of illegal mining water bodies. Now, water bodies and forest reserves are supposed to remain red zones for mining, and all forms of mining water bodies, as well as reconnaissance, etc., continues. So, when you um, take an overview of that statement, the government is saying they are, ex they are surprised that organized labor is still insisting that just in two days they will be going on a strike because that was not the commitment from organized labor. So what is organized labor not telling us? But at the end of the day, does that shift away what the conversation is? Civil society, media, everybody else quite concerned, not quite all concerned about the current state as it is. All right. So, uh, Ms. Alfred Thompson, 
um, this surprise position also seems to be surprising to us as well. What do you, what do you say to that? Which surprise position? That organized labor says in two days they are going on a strike. Your statement also says that otherwise. We are that... all surprised, aren't we? Yeah, first of all, let me say good morning to you, to Honorable, and to my brother, the runaway brother, who has doved himself in yellow but has a blue blood in him. And also, I was expecting yesterday for you to wish Dr. Baumi a happy birthday, but you didn't. I didn't hear you saying that. We, we and, did. Um, you. I didn't say that station. Well, before, I before I would say it, uh, so, um, uh, was it Solomon who came? Um, but you didn't yesterday. wish him. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's... You didn't um, wish I, him. I, I'm, I'm I, 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 I did it also on TV as well, and I said it. Oh, okay. Mm. Yesterday he was 61, and it was left to 61 days for him to really go that's and, a permutation yes go and make sure that he grabs the the deal of victory for mpp <laughs> and on the seventh it looks like mpp is well steep in numerology the seventh of december that is when it's going to happen which um is left with seven mm. um on the seventh of um, january you'll be duly inaugurated as the next president of the republic of ghana and we know inshallah that god being so good will be with him because of his humility, good heart, mm. and his love for the job. Without uh, being distracted, he's always focused in making sure that he delivers. And we can name series and a whole lot of, um, a whole page of things that, as a vice president, he's been able to initiate and make sure that it's carried through. So I wish him God's blessings, I wish him God's speed, and I believe that with God, all things are possible. It will happen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Oh, yes, amen. 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 Uh -huh. Thank you. Coming back to organized labor, I can only plead with them because it hurts my heart when um, we all fight for something and along the path you get people really standing there and fighting against the good things you are fighting for. Then no one speaks about it. When things deteriorate, then we all start shouting as if there's one person who is working on concerned about what is going on. And I'm talking about the um, small scale mining or the gold search or the love for mining in Ghana. It started years back. It's not today. And it's been building up. Governments after governments have come and they are, they've been trying as much as possible to fight this menace. But as human as it is, it becomes like, uh, what do you call it, a spirit. You know, money is like a spirit. It's always pulling you into it and it's always trying to get you to come over and make sure that you pick it up. So people, those of people go into it and you can try. I mean, I remember when I was in... St. Augustine, sometime years back, there was a list in that one of these huge or big mining firms, people had gone underneath to do Galamsey and the whole pit collapsed onto them. That caved in. That caved in. And it's been ongoing. I mean, when you go to the Obwases and the places where the, the goods are really mined, they will tell you that, listen, these are things that happen. And it's like nobody's afraid. Whether it will cave in or not, I'm, I don't care. Let me go and do what I have to do to make a living. So it becomes a very tough situation. And everybody will tell you, any leader will tell you that, listen, this is a, it's a, it's a serious situation between the deep blue sea and um, your life that you are, you are rocking there. We've sta we started when we took over power trying to sanitize the whole system. So, Galamse itself, we made sure that we regular, regularized it. People were supposed to register and make sure that they are on it. And then it, makes, it gives you the chance for the small-scale miners or the community miners, as we call them, to now guard their turf. Because government can sit down and say that, yes, we are fighting it, we are doing this, we are sending soldiers, we, are, we did everything possible. But at the end of the day, you realize that there are people who would always pass behind and go and do galamsey. 
When people start shouting, eh, ban Galamse, ban Galamse, I asked someone, seriously speaking, do you ban an illegality? Can you ban an illegality? Can you ban Galamse? Galamse itself, in itself, is illegal. So how do you tell me that I should ban an illegality? So if you are not careful, we would use the uh, annoyance of the fly to hurt our soul. We use the annoyance of the, of fly, the fly to hurt our soul. Yeah, because you want to hate the fly so bad because it's always coming around your soul that if you are not careful, you will hurt it. Okay. We are all worried about the menace that goes on. Are you worried? Yes, we is are. Everybody worried? is worried. Okay. Everybody is worried. Mr. Don't Mr. think Mr. that. Thompson. Don't think that. Let me Mr. let me let me let me get at this to somewhere before you come in. Don't think that we will sit down on consent. That is why when we took over, there was, if you remember very well, there was a total ban on mining for almost two years. Yes. yes. And, and, we, and, that was when, in the and that was where we gave people the chance to come and register. Because at that time, the illegality going on was huge and was uncontrolled. Mining was uncontrolled. Anybody could go and go and do anything. So we had to stop it and give that period to sanitize the whole system for people to come and do regularized mining. And that was where we started giving them the gold catches, as they call it, um, they, 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 they call it some um, total or something today. The technology. Yes, but it's for them to stop using all this mercury and other yes. substance that hurts all of us. So government continuously is putting measures in place. Hmm? Government is continuously putting measures in place to build upon correctly what the people are doing in the mining fields hmm. because if you tell someone to stop work and we've done that before over one person has over five thousand people working under him some six go to the mining centers and you see all these people are going to lose their income for god knows when even if they are regularized the first time mr Alfred thompson mm -hmm. what was the objective or the goal of that moratorium that was to sanitize the system okay so to what, make sure that all those who are doing the galaxy was the system sanitized when that action was taken yes okay because so, people so, became regular we now got those who want to do so because what, what was happening was that so what do you at think that time, happened I'm, for I'm us coming. to be having at the that time, resultant effect at that time the polluted bodies? at that time when you wanted to go and register and do uh mining regularized mining the process you go through the challenges you go through some were even complaining that they had to take their money before they were giving them the license to go and do it so he said okay liberalize it in such a way that it will not be a difficulty so we will not get people doing the irregular okay. mining so when the media so, started this fight mm -hmm. and then the government formally mm -hmm. took over mm -hmm. with the structure the interministerial mm -hmm. mining etc mm -hmm. and then we saw after the moratorium mm -hmm. um emerging clean so you saw it yes imagine clean water so you saw that we were doing something so yes. it's not as if you haven't done anything at no, all so you so this is the second time we no, have i'm asking anything. as if you haven't done no, anything nobody at has all. said you haven't done but anything. that's how, how okay. that's how everybody so, is putting it that this government have failed in fighting galamsey no but obviously that's a failed fight you don't think so when it gets to an election year no, i'm wait, coming wait, when it gets no, to no, an no, election we'll, year we'll let's get, let's let's we'll, go we'll, straight to the yeah, point please. when it gets to an please. election year please. Please. Relax, and you get relax. a candidate relax. Relax. standing relax. within the we'll, we'll, vicinity we'll come to that point and you tell people we'll, we'll to why should point. i relax so, so let's so, let's let so, it so the home. first the first point when the the fight started mm -hmm. with the interministerial committee in place the charles bc use the important boatings etc so we saw a process of regularization monitoring mm -hmm. and the evaluation mm -hmm. and so that is why we saw the water bodies being cleaned thereafter mm -hmm. certainly the water bodies after that initiative or mm -hmm. the post moratorium phase mm -hmm. were not like this mm -hmm. and there was no indiscriminate scenes as we are seeing it now mm -hmm. and for us to be seeing indiscriminate scenes it didn't start from, it started from two years ago 
and so now we've long before two years now ago. we've reached an election year so so the government is reluctant to take a decision mm -hmm. so that's the problem so the problem is that because it's an election year government should take any decision it likes is that what you're asking for does it mean that the no, government is that what you're asking for let's let's no, be it's a question. let's be no it's let's be straight it's a question you are you, you, you are, are telling me that it's question. gotten to election year so government is refusing <laughs> to take decisions is, when is the government refusing to take decisions when in 2020 Nanado at that time had even put his seat on the line. He and he had what? his job on the line. He put his job on the line. Drove How did he, he do that? Didn't he announce that he's ready to even lose no, his he... job on this um, just the fight against Ganamse? Did he not? At that time, didn't we get the main opposition presidential candidate going to the places where people have been stopped, have been arrested, and were being taken to court to tell them that go ahead and do it? When they arrest you, the opposition and leader says yes, that and when the they campaign arrest you and, and the coming, funding let me, let agencies out, and the funders listen, who are doing please, it please, should Roland, be arrested all alongside this time all are the taking, people. All please. this time you are taking. So at the end of the no, all this time you are no, taking. So, You've given so, me time no, to explain. No, so so at the end of the day, at the end of the day, give me the chance to do that. Don't speak for me. So there's a government in place. The government headed by the executive president, mm -hmm. as well as the vice president, and Why the other ministers of state. Why is that you are because I'm talking about the opposition no, leaders? So start. let me finish you, what you I'm just stating. Came, don't, don't start with this strategy. Don't let me finish what we, I'm stating. We, we, Why are you that, speaking for me? That strategy doesn't work. Will you speak for all of, all of them? That strategy doesn't so work. So let me finish. So allow what me I'm to saying. ask my questions, unless maybe you want to. Answer uh, is there the a question you are asking, yes, or you are question. making a statement? It's a question. You are making a statement. No, no, no. It's a question. Okay, ask the question. So. We have a president, mm -hmm. the vice president, mm -hmm. as well as the team of appointed ministers. Yeah. They are supposed to make sure mm -hmm. that we sanitize the sector. Yeah. And if actions were taken including prior, the prior to 2020, including the where citizens. we saw an improvement, and now we see a worse situation mm -hmm. before that, that period, mm -hmm. where we had the interministerial, etc., then... Is there not any conclusion that could be made that the government has failed? Okay, so to borrow the words of my honorable Defer Mapo and his team, when there's a rain falling and your leak is and your roof is leaking and you just go and mop and you don't correct the roofing, you have a problem. Because it will always leak. And I, yes, I am okay. Honorable. So what I'm saying is that when in 2020, election time. It got to an election time, just like this time. And then we got the opposition moving. At that time, Kweku Boyan, who was a deputy communication officer, went with the former CEO of, uh, what do you call it, Minerals Commission, and pointed to him. The CEO did not talk. Well, he was standing there. So he is the idol. This is the CEO of uh, Minerals Commission when we're in power. And when we come back, he will make sure that he gives all of you license to do this, um, your mining. So don't worry. Don't fear. Just vote for us. And when you, are, um, when you are locked up, we'll pick you up and bring you back and give you your license. Then you get the leader of the opposition party going to the same um, just in Galamsey areas and telling them that uh, you have been locked. Your people have been locked. Tell them that what? Eh? <laughs> no, please allow him to make Your people have been arrested. And when I come, I'll release them because you are not the perpetrators. You have campaigns. You have people who are behind you, who are using you to do this galamsey. So if anything, they should go and arrest the um, this thing, kingpins. But Roland, when you are arresting a thief, there could be the leader in the house who the leader would not come out and be amongst the thief. But you tell you, you go here, go and steal this. You go here, go and steal this. You go here, go and steal this. When you are arresting, do you say that, oh, because these are not the this thing, kingpins of the uh, this thing, and what do you call it? The mafia raid or the stealing raid. So I'm leaving them and going straight to the uh, main man to arrest him. Is that what you do? You don't. You arrest the people involved. If they refuse to name who is behind it, because you can go to court and the person will tell you that, ah, but have you seen me caught in the act doing anything like this? No. So if they refuse to name the people who are behind it and they are imprisoned, and next time another person comes, and they come and pick their brothers and sisters to do the same thing. And they are also in prison. The third time, the people within that vicinity will think twice. They will not go and do it. So when we are fighting such a menace, and you realize that the water bodies were getting better, and someone was so worried about that, and decided that, oh, let me go and give the people the fiat 
to go and do what they like against all political world. And everybody was quiet. Till it gets to another election time, for all of us to start fighting it, I get worried. Because it's like we are looking at it as a political thing and not as a menace of this country. Let us all rise together and fight this thing. Let us not let political coloration come into it. Because if you are going to do partisan in this and think about it that, oh, it's election time, when we fight it at this time, then some people will lose out for another person to come in. Everybody will be wary of what they are doing. Mr. Mr. Dapamuko, this one also, in terms of the content of this message, was again reiterated by Kojopoku in Safwa yesterday. Uh, that, well, even though the government, executive government, they have all authority on every quasi institutions of state, the opposition, the main political party being an opposition, the NDC, um, is not playing ball. And that's why we have um, the deterioration of the situation. How do you react to some of uh, these concerns that have been raised by the government? Let me, first of all, use the opportunity to say good morning to my, my, my colleagues here. And, of course, good morning to my constituents. You know, I do that customarily in Peki, Bali, Tongo. Tomorrow we are welcoming my national chairman, uh, General Sidon Ketia, to, to Southern in Kweve. And so I invite my colleagues to join me to welcome him. Um, <coughs> you don't you think Roland. it's easy to wish Dr. Bomi a happy birthday? Well, look, happy birthday. And, and, um, and I know that by now you are aware that you are taking your team back to opposition mm -hmm. to go and rehabilitate. Not at all. <laughs> uh, how does a uh, vice president of the Republic... The no, he won't distract me. No, <laughs> Let me release worried. those salvos. <laughs> look, it, it's not true. The claim by... Uh, Alfred Thompson, that uh, Galamse activities were not regulated, small scale mine. It, it can't be true. It cannot. They should, they should accept the fact that they have failed. In terms of what? In terms of the policies they roll out to curb the illegal small scale mining. That is the government of the issue. Small scale mining is properly regulated. In fact, if you, if you go, let me give you a bit of history. In 1986, the PNDC set up what was called the, the Minerals Commission by PNDC Law 154. And Professor Akila Kwasoya was the first executive secretary of the commission at the time. When we um, transitioned into um, constitutional rule, PNDC Law 154 was repealed by Act 450, which set up the Minerals Commission properly and made the head the executive secretary. So mining activities became the responsibility, in terms of regulation, became the responsibility of the new Minerals Commission under, set up under an Act of Parliament from about 1993. Before then, then we had introduced a program in 1989 under, under the then, the Esquire Minerals Commission, under the PNDC Act 154, to, as it were, regulate small-scale mining. So, it, so small-scale mining is not a, 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 a modern-day business. It has it, always been with that. It's always been with that. But it's the regulation. In 2006, President Kufo, in trying to generally introduce legislation in the mining sector, brought what we call the Minerals and Mining Act, Act 703. And again, if you look at Section 100, it mandated the Minerals Commission a full powers to, for the implementation of this new law. When the NDC came back after 2009, we operationalized Act 703 with LI 2176. 209. Yes. No, 2012, when we came, we took steps because um, section, section 111 of Act 703 gives you the power, the minister the power to introduce uh, regulations. So we did that. And as part of our 2012 manifesto towards 2013, we introduced community mining, very, very laudable, and regulated it. So... We didn't see this level of degradation in the environment. No, it wasn't. <laughs> My brother, let's, let's, let's face it, because 
I was born in this country and I've lived in several places in this country. This level, that's why I'm, I'm, I've given you the history of small scale mining. It even predated 1986. So the regulation has always, so if, 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 if you fail to, to, to have a foothold in terms of regulation, as a government says so, and I'll go into the meat of the matter and tell you that even though we spent over a billion in terms of government policies to, to as it were, control the, the unlawful small scale mining, they have failed. Then when they came to power in, in, in January 207, Amo was then the minister for lands and uh, I think lands natural and, and natural resources. What did he do? He said they were going to ban on, uh, illegal small scale mining. So even the licenses, they won't issue. So they, so they, so they stopped to issue licenses. So when you sell licenses, were not, they were not being licensed, they were not being regulated. It's not true. There's a procedure, there's a procedure for licensing under the law. And we were issuing licenses. So when Kwekubwain said that we'll give you licenses, Kwekubwain was speaking to the law. He was not wrong. Mr. Dekwamoko, the problem please, is not please, about the license. Please, can I? Hold on. No. The problem he, is about said, after, oh, after I, you issue the license, how you, how you have to monitor and regulate I, to make sure that that license I, issued as operationalized have, is done sustainably. I have, it's I have, a I have given, listen, I have given you a history. They, I understand that. Yes, from, from 1981 to 1991-92, who was in power? It was Jerry Rollins. He took steps to make sure that small-scale mining was properly regulated. Did we see this level of degradation during the PNDC era? No. When he transitioned to become a constitutional ruler from 1993 to 2000, did you see this level of degradation of the environment? No, because the, the main court, which is the Minerals Commission, will not issue any concession or any license for any small-scale operator to go near a water body. It was never done. And to, today, they don't do it. Minerals Commission will not give you a license to go and conduct a mining activity in a water, in, near a water body or on the bed of a river. It's never done. So the point I am making is that under PNDC 1, PNDC, uh, under NDC 1, NDC 2, NDC 3, NDC 4, small-scale mining was properly regulated. We never allowed people. So on occasions where we detected that there were illegal mining being done near water bodies, you recall the, the three, the three, the multi, uh, the interministerial, uh, anti galamsey operations yeah, led yeah. by the Honorable Inusa Fuseni. All right. Where to clamp, and co to clamp West. down okay. on this activity. We expected the government, the new government that, that took over, to continue on, on with that program. They abandoned it and stopped issuing issuance of the license. So, what happened? The, the people went underground and went to engage in illegal activity under the cover of darkness, one. And in, thick, and in forest cover. Yesterday, you must have listened to the CEO of the Minerals Commission yesterday we'll when deal, he we'll appeared before our, 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 our committee. The Governance Assurance Committee. Yes, very, very revealing matters. But I'm saying, when Amawu took over the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, he went around to seize excavators and actually transported them with fanfare to Accra. Assemble them at a, at a place at Adenta called Aviation Land. Nearly 500 excavators were assembled in this country. And, 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 and they were told that this was. That has to be from Pomp Watting. No, no, under, under Amewu. It was under Amewu. The Frimpong Party was part of the 64 Interministerial it was, it was, Committee. That, hold on. Amewu was leading the program. Mm -hmm. But of course, from point being the Minister for Environment, Charge. yes, Before they coordinated the very well, very well. I'm guided. But I'm seeing of nearly 500 it's excavators. It's not the committee that Charles Bessie was secretary. Yes. It was that committee that, that seized the 500. Mm -hmm. Yes. So over 500 excavators were brought to Accra from the hinterland. Where are the excavators? I keep saying that excavators are not toy cars. <coughs> they are monstrous machines that if you want to move them, 
you needed to undertake a lot of logistical efforts. Where are they? They've been taken back under your watch. Look, we've spent 933 million Ghana cities so far in order in an attempt to fight illegal mining or small scale illegal mining. Operations like Galam, Galam Stop, Operation Vanguard, Operation Green Ghana, Operation uh, uh, National Forestation and Livelihood, all, all sorts of high sounding, high, high valuting sounding programs were, were crafted as it were to fight Galam Say, it failed. Now, persons are actually going to our water bodies, streams, uh, rivers that feed. Major rivers are being attacked. Rivers where we draw processed water from are under attack. Every, every major river in this country has been destroyed. And you say that it is not licensed, it is not regulated. It is. As a government, you have failed to tackle the problem. So when we speak of the number one gentleman of the land being His Excellency uh, 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 Nana Kufadu, He's no longer the number one gentleman. He's the number one destroyer of the country. So he must be voted out. As a government, they have lost, they have lost the plot. They have lost the ability to fight this menace. It, I think at the heart of this conversation yeah. is that the government says, I need time to put things in place because the situation based on past policy that have been implemented have not ended the matter, ended the distraction. And that where you find money, gold, people always go. What do you think needs to be done by the various state agencies to tackle it? Because herein, if you go to a Galamse site, everybody, whether it's an MPP supporter, Movement for Change supporter, or NDC supporter, everybody's mining. I mean, that's the reality. We do understand that it's the Ekufuado, Baumia, Minister, Government, they have to tackle it. What do we need to do to make sure that we bring sanity in the meantime? There's that restoration we saw, that uh, post-2018, post-2018, 2019, 2020 period. It was that period that led to the surge in the, in the illegal mining, small scale mining. There are, there are four, there are four types you. of licenses. Thank you. There's, there's a, a prospecting license, mm. there's a reconnaissance license, there's a mining lease license, and there's a small scale mining license. Now, if you decide to withhold issuance of license and allow your party apparatchiks to purchase bulldozers, excavators, or go to Adenta to carry them and go to the hinterland to go and degrade the environment, you are unable to control them because they are, you are, they are your party executives. NPP is no longer capable as a government of fighting these menace because, you see, they, they, they are can't have an adage. They are in the Nkrani, so they cannot fight the Nkrani from climbing them. It is their people who are, who are mainly degrading the environment in, the, in an unlawful way. Because the license is issued to a small-scale miner. Where does he go? He's controlled. He's regulated properly. Because the CEO of the Minerals Commission insists that anybody found in the hinterland near, near water body degrading the environment is not operating under any license they have issued. So as a government, what do you do? You clamp down on those people. You are unable to do it because these are your party executives. Right from national to, by, to by the now lowest. we should have sent soldiers, everybody. They have deployed soldiers with money. I've given you the figures. Operation Vanguard alone has over 300 million Ghana That's cities. Before. So now far, we have a state of operation, operation Galam Stop, Operation Vanguard, all manner of operations, soldiers, police, the military, national security, forest guards, immigration, they've all been deployed to the extent that every major, major Mahama died in the process in one of those operations. But it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked because you have party executives. So when you go and confront the people, the person is your constituency chairman, what do you do? You abandon him. So 
the, the party in government today, the MPP, has to be voted out, first of all. They have, they have to go home. But that's not a solution. That is the solution. <laughs> that is the solution. Because the president, has it, the president has that eight years. How do you say that six days to an election, you need more time? Eight years has it served you? Is it six days that can help you? It cannot be. Now, now, now Paul, oh, what, what, what do we need to do? Because in two days' time, organized labor is sitting in the streets. Um, thank you very much. And then, um, I am sad this morning. I am sad because I have tried to listen to other networks before coming and sitting here listening to the two political parties. My heart is saddened. Your heart is saddened? Yes. After 32 years, we still would come to sit around the table and will not prescribe policy solutions, but would rather want to argue and debate on who has done worse and who has destroyed the country <clears throat> more. It's an embarrassment. And Roland, the fight on Galamse would not be won if we still have a political party that is being financed by Galamse money on the seat of government. The two major political parties are being financed by Galamse money. And this is not proof. And this is as simple as it the is. is I, so let me issue that disclaimer. You have your time. Let me. Please, no, no, let no, no. Have no, but let me disclaim. You you know, you, you've made, you've made your point. That you give the box for people to... See, I'm not coming from the brain, man. The two major political parties in our retreat are being financed by Galam Seymour. And that is why they do not have the gas to even call on the national security and all other authorities that matter. Who sanctions the national security? To Who activates their powers? Or activate a state of emergency on the issues or the activities of Galam Seymour in this country. Roland, they both made a, a scenario that when it is raining and your roof is leaking and you try to clean up the room, you have not solved the problem because the roof is leaking. How do you solve the roofing leak or the leaking roof? You take it off and put on a new roof. Leadership is a problem. Leadership is the solution in that same matter. If leadership does not have what it takes to call on a bank, a complete bank, Roland, let us be clear in our minds. How do these galamsiers get onto the site? We issue licenses for small scale mining. These licenses that are issued, these persons, some, most of them, do not have even what it takes to go into the mining field. They do not have the technology. They do not have the capital. They just take the license. And once they get in there, what would they do? They will not be able to use the right processes and procedure to do a clean mining. And for that matter, they will go into Galamse to destroy our water bodies and our forest reserves. It is as simple as that. When DVLA has issued a license to somebody who does not know how to drive, is it the license that will drive the car? <laughs> Let us be real. Roland, what will say license if you got that? It is the human being that sits behind the wheel. So if the human being behind the wheel does not know how to drive, if the human wheel 
person seated behind the wheels does not know the road signs. The, the human being behind the wheels does not know how to even control the driving activities and to control the car. There would always be accidents on the road. And that is the same thing we are, we are, we are facing today. So yesterday we had the Minerals Commission's board sit in front of the, mm. the committee and says that we are in this situation because we have refused issuing licenses. Does licenses do mining? Ask him how many times he has gone around to even monitor the activities of those he has issued the licenses to. Because that's the problem. Per the regulations. Licenses are supposed to be renewed after every five years. Some within three. <clears throat> Some three. You should come and tell us what the procedures are and how many of these licenses have even gone through the processes of renewal. And so that is why Alan Germantin proposed that there should be a complete ban, at least for a year. Okay. So let us have an audit of all of these licenses. For the last 15 years, the licenses that have been issued, let us audit the processes. And the ban and is the just procedure. temporary ban, right? Temporary ban. Okay. So within the period where there's a temporary ban, within the short-term period, what's supposed to be done? When we say we want a state of and emergency So that is what I'm saying. Declare. We declare a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. We ban the activities of all small-scale mining. Mm -hmm. Now, when you ban the activities of small-scale mining, Alfred was asking that, are we able to ban something that is illegal? Yes, we're able to ban something that is illegal. Like clamping mm -hmm. on it? Of course. No. It is illegal. But it is going on. How do you deal with it? You and I recognizes the fact that it is going on. You and I recognizes the fact that it is an illegal activity. Let us ban it. And so that when the people are aware that government is frowning on their illegal activities, they would worry. Roland, one year ban, we demobilize the machines and and personnel who are on the ground, we take them off. The one year, at least, would give us the opportunity to audit the institution that is actually involved in the issuing of these licenses. The one year would give us that opportunity to audit the processes of issuing of licenses and also whether or not those who have attained these licenses mm. have what it takes to go into small-scale mining. All right. We shouldn't just be issuing licenses because we let have me, to issue them. Let me bring in Austin Game, um, oh, labor no, consultant. No, Roland. Oh. Yeah. No, that, no, they be an idea. I'm telling you, they only argue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm professing oh, solutions. solutions. Yes. And, 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 Mr. Austin Game, good morning. They be. They, the labor call, <coughs> apart from, well, the ally also being repealed, so to speak, or not being implemented subsequently. That state of emergency, what should it be? Please unmute. Unmute. Please unmute. Please unmute. Eh? Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. That state of yeah. emergency, what should it be ideally? Because that's why the water, the, the waters are terrible, yeah. and the workers now are saying that we want to lay down our tools. Well, fortunately, this is not about salary, you know, adjustment. <laughs> this is about our existence on this earth. And it appears we are on a mission to commit suicide by ourselves. And so, and there is no other body, not even the judiciary, can make the president yield to anything except another body that has authority. And this authority is vested in organized labor. And we're very deliberate when we're writing the labor law to change over from just holding on to a TUC or Ghana Federation of Labor or any other body to deposit the combined effect of organized people organizing themselves into an organized labor. And I'm so proud we have done that. And 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 so the, the way forward is to ban all forms of galamsey activities, whether it's community mining, whether it is small-scale mining, whether it is so-called illegal mining, everybody should stop 
for a minimum of one, two, three, four, five years to enable us have a restoration of our water bodies, to enable us have our ecology back to normalcy. And, and therefore, we can protect ourselves and stop the deliberate killing of ourselves. I mean, that's just about it. And, and so nobody should, should feel that is being uh, pushed to the wall by way of their, their interest in winning election or not winning election. That's not the issue. The issue is about protecting our lives for now and protecting our children and the future of this nation. Uh, now, for example, I, I have a friend who um, closely is linked to the Minerals Commission. He says, look, the powers of the commission have literally been taken away by the politicians of the day. The CEO, for example, I can tell you an authority, takes orders and can't do FOCO. He puts that, it's a FOCO, I mean, quotes, so to speak. The commission is now more resourced with vehicles and mining inspectors who monitor operations regularly. It has a control room to demobilize excavators and line sensing now faster than before because of online processing than even before. The challenge is enforcing the mining laws because politicians are behind the activity. So it means that we're in a state of siege. Mr. Austin Game, this one, what needs to be done? What should the workers be telling the government? Well, to be honest with you, I, I, am, I, am, I think that we are even late. But maybe uh, it's better than never. So what should be done is what organized labor have done. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Thursday will come. Are you not surprised that we have a government? I have a lot of respect for my friend and uh, brother, Nana Akufuado, as president. Yet they are so silent on this issue Whatever they have said so far is nothing to be worried, to be concerned, and to be to be of any any happiness to us. The water bodies, we all can see it, and so I am not too sure what really the the government and the party in power really want. But for now, organized labor is the only sent savior to set us free from this suicide mission that we are embarking upon in this nation okay and i think that it's only fair that the ban galamse revoke all the licenses like you rightly said not because you are saying it the man himself openly said it yesterday before a committee of parliament that he's been instructed instead of them waiting for about a year or so to issue a license he's been instructed that he should do it as rapidly as he can and, and they are doing it with careless abandon. And, and therefore, I think that the only way out is to ban them, revoke the licenses, stop everybody. And in the future, let's have a national dialogue on community mining and, and, and have people to be trained and, and tooled properly and monitored. Okay. Just as they are supposed to be doing. I think that's the way forward. Okay, just in a minute, what, what will we see in two days? Because not every, every, I, for example, don't belong to a formal union, of course, but I belong to the media, so uh, I, I can be in a position to say we all do the advocacy and join the fight. But for those who are in the formal unions, what, what's supposed to be? Of course, we know those in the health sector, they're supposed to provide emergency services and all that. Indeed, if, if, if the public sector, if... Uh, the GPRTU and concerned drivers and so forth, if they should go on just one seven minute strike, the, 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 the stubbornness would, would end and uh, we'll have to come back to normalcy. Right. Uh, Ms. Alfred Thompson, uh, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Austin Game, for this, for this clarification. Thank you very much. You were on Ghana tonight yesterday, so I don't want to um, worry you too much. Um, yesterday, the, 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 the mining, oh, maybe. The, the, the mining, the, mi the Minerals Commission CEO said, even just behind the Indian police station, yeah, and he doesn't know why. So it's like, it's like we're in the Banana Republic, Ms. Alfred Thompson. That is why I stated something that you don't ban an illegality. When, when, something, happy, yeah. when something is illegal mm. and you see the person doing it, you arrest him straight away. It's not a matter of but when you are saying that I'm going to ban it, what you are saying is that I'm regularizing it. So let us get it straight away. You don't ban an illegality. You clamp down on it. You arrest the people immediately. You see them. 
And that is something we should get straight and clear. Now, let's come to this. I'm very glad my brother said that, listen, this thing was very ripe, was very going on very well. Everything was regularized between 2018 to 2020. And that is when the siege started, your siege. And I like the way you use the word, state of siege. Listen, Roland, when we stopped or we put a ban on mining, mm. they are now coming to say that they are now going to put a new ban and everything. When we put a ban on it, we knew what we are doing. We have done that. We have arrested people. We have um, taken people's, uh, what do you call it, excavators and everything. We've bent it down. When we are doing that, people are saying that we are being inhuman. Who said? When, oh, a lot of people came out and condemning us and saying that what you are doing is not right and we are being inhuman and we shouldn't be doing that and why are we seizing excavators? Why are we taking people that have invested in excavators and so many other things? It came out. At that time, we knew that if we did not fight this and fight it, tooth booth, bull and horn, we would get to the stage. When we say that we are putting the office of the president on the line, we knew that we had to fight it to the end. When people went to the um, sites and now we're telling people to go ahead and do it and that when they come into power, they will do it for them. What they were doing was that they were now bringing the illegality back into fruition. Because now it becomes partisan. It's an election year, 2020. Everybody is fighting to make sure that he wins his, his seat in parliament. Then you go and tell the people that, oh, don't worry, you can go ahead and do your illegality or do whatever you want to do, um, even if it's legal or not legal. When I come, I'll release you. It's a party, one party in government against the main opposition party. And nobody, nobody at that time raised a finger and condemned everything that um, John Mahama said, His Excellency, at that time, which was very wrong and was not helping in the progress of this country. That is what I want us to all come out. That is what I want him to come out and say that, yes, at that time what he said did not help this country. It was bringing us back to this era where they knew that during their time, all these illegalities were going on. They issued over how many licenses? About um, 1,400 and so licenses. Everything was going on. But we've reduced it and brought it, monitored it, and told the people that you are given the license that this area that you have given you, we've called on this area for you. If your machine goes out of this area, there's a, a, a device on it. The machine is locked. So you can't move. The moment you go out of this area, without maybe it being told away or something, but you are going there to excavate, your machine is locked. I don't understand. So when we, let's say we're going to the Wasai areas, mm -hmm. we're going to mm -hmm. Western region, we, mm -hmm. we see them just mining across the banks, mm -hmm. the, into banks? the water, into the water. There's, uh, no, one I, mining, I, there's okay. no one mining around the bank. Okay, so I, I, Go and check what. I, are, you, are you saying that those miners are NDC people? I don't understand. I never said they were NDC people. So what are you saying? I said that John Mahama, His Excellency, the former president of this country, in 2020, went to the miners and told them that some of your brothers and sisters have been locked up. They are not the kingpins. So when I come, I'll release all of them for them to go on with their normal duty. That was a mess. unfortunate statement. And I expected organized labor. I expected everybody. I expected the media to rise up against him on what he was saying. Because at that time, the president and his team were fighting Galamsey. We're fighting illegal mining. We're fighting to regularize the mining system. So if you get a former president coming to say that because I want to win power, you can go ahead and do what you want to do. When I come and they lock you and I come, let your people vote for me. When I come, I'll release you. You think it's a way of fighting Galamse or fighting uh, mining, illegal mining? That is where we have to get a contest. And that is where all this so the former president started. is the one who has made our river bodies degenerate into the due to oh, illegal miners. No, I'm asking you because that's, 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 that's the statement I, you're what making. What I'm stating is that when we are fighting something and as a statesman, we expect you to do the same and you rather go and tell the people that go ahead and do it. You are creating problems not for the certain government. When did he say that people should enter forests and then... Uh, 
Close he said that this. everybody who had been locked up will be released when he's voted yeah, he into power. he made that statement because so he said, isn't I it, Isn't it, isn't it telling the people to go the, ahead oh, and do what they want to do? How, how is that? When people have been arrested because they are, um, this thing, they are washing, they are not by the river bodies, but they are washing into the river bodies. And they have been arrested. And you go and tell the people that, oh, when I come, I'll release you. funding you? So the government of the day and its apparatus. Whether someone is funding you or not, and you are doing the wrong thing, and you have been arrested. And I gave you the thievery example. That when you catch someone on the spot, it's not about who is funding the person, but the person is doing the wrong thing. And you get a former leader going there to say that, go ahead and do it. It is totally unacceptable. And that is what you have to start fighting to uh, end all this menace. First of all, it is this sort of propaganda that is undermining the oh. government. Yes, it, this is pure propaganda. How? Government. Alfred Thompson, you are in power. You are exercising executive power of state. You've taken nearly one billion Ghana cities. Supposedly for anti galamse policies and programs. You have failed. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama made those comments in respect of selective justice. The man says that you arrest Chinese people and the next day they are back in the food. Then you go and pick these poor Ghanaians who are actually funded by your party executive city in Accra and Kumasi. You don't go and arrest those people who are actually funded, who are buying the excavators for these poor people. You will not even grant them bail. So he says that this sort of selective justice will end under his regime. He was not promoting wrongdoing. He says, I will not tolerate this under my government if wrongdoing is, it has, been, has been dictated by all means, that is what let, ah, why? What are you saying? That's a, that's you lock the people up. Somebody who has no ability to buy an excavator. You go, look for you go and find him. You go and find him in a, in a Galamse pit. Then you pick him. What about the owner of the excavator? The excavator is registered. It's a machinery it's registered by the DVLA. They have special numbers. Some even have trackers. You did not go and, 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 and determine who the owner is and what his excavator was doing in a Galamse pit. And his excellency says, this is not how to, he was telling you. We were washing into river bodies. He says, and we stop, we he says, the Minerals Commission says they don't license any small-scale mining activity near a river body. Yes. Or on the so bed, put hold on, there on the bed of the river. It. So when you go and meet people, don't just So the former arrest. president said, he was talking about anti, anti, that is selective justice. It's not true. Ah, what are you saying that is not true. true? You know it's not Alfred, true. Alfred, please. Honorable. Please, you've had your please time. Please conclude on this. So I'm saying the man was speaking Honorable. against the selective justice system being introduced by this government. Against boys who have been found in Galamse pits. Look for the sponsors. Look for the people who are funding it. Your, your party chairman, your party secretaries, your women organizers, they do this. Former deputy he says, he says, go after those people. They are the grandmasters of the Galamse. Two, Kokubayan's point that you keep happening. I'm saying There's Kokubayin, a video to that effect. Yes, Kokubayan was, speak, was speaking to the law. That's go to sections from about That's section 81. Of the of the of the uh, minerals and mining act as amended by Act 995, from section 81 to about section 96, it talks about small scale mining license. Kokubain says, under our government, who we'll continue to license you and regulate you properly. Do you know what they've done? They have even come up with a community mining manual. So what did Kokubain say wrong? The chiefs are using. You understand? So. As for the Galamse, it's been properly, there's a proper regulatory regime in place. What you have failed to do is that you've taken so much money, pretending to fight the Galamse menace, which you are not fighting because it's predominated by your party heavyweights, so you are incapacitated. So you're saying they, they hold the reins of government, so Thank they have you. to enforce them. Yes. Now, now let me ask you. Please end The on. 500 excavators that were brought to Accra, as part of the initial attempts to clamp down on Ill illegal small scale mining, where are the excavators? Alfred Thompson, I'm asking you, where are they? They have somehow, be, they have somehow been taken back no, 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 no. to the Galamse pit they, and they are working. Yeah, what is left in, Ma, in, in Adenta Aviation yes. Land yes. is crap. It's not. If you like, take your, take your cameraman there and see whether you see more than 25 excavators sitting there. They are old, they are decrepit.
Because they've been seized since 2018. Ah, 2018, 500, 76, 2018. I'm just going through Article uh, 57. Uh, uh, let me, let me, let me finally say this. Let him land on Mohammed. The, the enforcement of the law is the, is the mandate of the Minerals Commission. And yesterday I was telling him that. Okay. So I see, I think that what you need is an enhancement of your powers. When we set up the Ghana Immigration Service, they were not armbearing service. But because Who of appoints terror, the Minerals Commission CEO? The president, okay. of course, per so, the law. And, and, by, art no, and, law and by Article 57, the president is supposed to be the head of state, commander-in-chief of the Ghana. Yes, Force yes. So, etc. no, I'm, like, I'm saying all those, all those policies, deploy the army, deploy the police, deploy the national security, they've all failed. So the even a state, a, yes, even a state of declaration of a state of emergency cannot fight this anti galam thing. So what should we the do? The solution is that vote this government out. Okay. <laughs> you see? This government. You see? Vote them out. Partisanship. That is where it's it not about partisanship. It's about partisanship. It's about the fact that we have taken money. No, we have taken money. We have taken money. Let me give you a Check and see. Let me give you a answer. You have taken money. You have taken one billion. 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 To fight illegal money. You have failed. What is the money? The same thing they did in 2020. What is the money for? And then you. Two years of election. That is one more money to go and say this. It is not true that we have NDC has issued more licenses. This is when? Than the oh, yes, MPP. It is. It is not. It is, it is. Okay. Yesterday, it is. the record before the record before Parliament, mm -hmm. you have issued more licenses between 2019 and now. I can give you the license number, the total okay. license. So, yes. Yeah. So, so I am and saying that thousand, it is not true. It is not true. I, I, I beg you. No, please. Get your data correct. Let's talk of you. It's here. Let me show. So, so, so now, organized labor is laid down their tools. Just in two days. The country is supposed to go to a halt. I mean, that's they just want is us your, to feel the pain. Is your producer able to project the letter by the Minister for Information for me? Yes. All right. So if The you, Information uh, Ministry's letter. Yes. And so... You will notice that... So, the point B, when Parliament, please, <laughs> steps, when Parliament reconvenes this month to revoke the Environmental Protection Mining Forest Reserves Regulations 2023 LI 2462. Honorable, last yeah. time, yeah. how many times did you reconvene in Parliament to approve loans and taxes? Uh, you mean, you mean when, you were when you were recall? Twice. Twice. Yes. This and, is an and, issue. And um, three weeks ago, to we came back in for a call to to approve a loan. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is an issue and of national to interest. To this is no, an this issue of no, national no, totally interest. Issue. And we are being told that when Parliament reconvenes, it's not when they are recalled. Recall, yeah. This is an issue of emergency. Our water bodies are being destroyed. We have protesters on the streets of Ghana. We have everybody crying out. I don't know when the Catholic bishops will be on the street to pray and walk. The Catholic bishops? Yes. Okay. They, 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 they named it a prayer walk. It is mm -hmm. a protest. They are just being, they are, they are putting some kente cloth on, on the whole issue. It's a protest. And if government or parliament cannot be recalled on this matter of national interest, then we have a long way to go, Roland. When they want to approve their loans where their companies and, and insurance companies get percentages in, in those deals, they force parliament to come back and approve. So you're saying we should be on a state of emergency, an executive instrument for an which we need to recall? executive instrument needs to be done on this. You see, Roland, and that is why when I started earlier, I said that the two parties would only come to sit here and argue and make noise. When they have not been able to make one statement, one policy direction as to how to deal with this matter. Roland, we are in a political season. I don't it's understand too, you. Have you, it's uh, two months have you, to have you listened to Dr. Mudubam, yes, policy position, and then the NDC's also policy position? Yes, and they mentioned one. 
So, for example, Dr. Yeah. Mahmoud Ubaumian says that your logical services uh, is the authority or department yeah. is going to be responsible uh, more responsible they will locate the, the, mining, the mining areas and then you when you specify our year geographic you know and who knew said you're going to have service for the actually you'll be a good in the mines is it telling you is that being done now please don't ask me the question so 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 that's what they want to the ndc and then the ndc also says they want to make it more localized more participatory so instead are we not already involved so instead of having the minerals commission head office here where people would then we have their local district when it comes to approvals monitoring it's localized thank you very much districts but what we are saying is that there is a need for us to audit the processes in which these licenses are issued we are calling everybody is calling for a ban on small scale mining activities and, and I was laughing in my head when he wanted to limit the ban on Galamsey. We are saying that people hide behind the veil of small scale to do Galamsey. So they have legit They have legit documents licenses. to do small scale. They go in there to do Galamsey. Because the license doesn't differentiate on it the It does field. not define the activities. The yes, it does not. Small and scale is small scale. To, yeah. to, to add injuries to it, they have taken this ally to parliament. Already, we are having issues with the prospect licenses they are giving, yeah. which have would give somebody the nerves to come to tell Ghanaians that he wants to go into um, what is the, the the reserve uh, mm. this uh, the Imre uh, uh, National Park or somewhere mm. to go and do prospecting or oh, Achimota, for example, Achimota to go and do prospecting, and we still want to issue these licenses. Roland, the government is not serious on dealing with issues of Galamsey. If not, the president would have dealt with it the same way we dealt with COVID. If we how many, how many state of the nation did we have on COVID? Address, you mean address address over 44. No, we we had 27. And really? then we just had our 28th address last really? week. Roland, mm. children are dying. Are sure? Yes. It was more than that. Children are being was, born <laughs> with <laughs> dif <laughs> deformities. <laughs> our water bodies are destroyed. <coughs> Ghana Water is telling us that they need more than four or five times the same amount and higher chemicals to treat the water, the water for us to drink. They are telling us that in a year or two we would have to be importing water and you think this is not a state of emergency you think the president does not need to address this you think the former president does not need, need that should not be called on to make a statement roland alan tromantin made a statement on galamsey alan tromantin on his tour caravan tour in ashanti region visited a Galamsey site and made his stance clear. And this is what we are calling on leaders to do. Right. Will you join the Catholics? I will. All right. So, you, so it's, uh, they even have a media invitation out and that's the, the, the Catholics also. And yeah. then also we have another one, Intercongregational JPIC Coordinators Network. So that's Justice, Peace and Integrity of Creation, Ghana, etc. They also have another one. And again, the venue is still, um, so they are all congregating, adding to the Catholics, etc. 2 p.m. prompt, Holy Spirit Cathedral. They are going to <laughs> prayers. And so we're hoping that all of us will be there to make sure that we cover as a media and then we'll see what the actions will be. Thank you very much, Alfred Thompson. Good to have you. He has visited the Calamsey site. Who? That is what Alan yeah. Chamantin has visited the Calamsey yeah. site. Yeah. So he signed the bond. To to look and then Would to look at how the land is being destroyed. That's the question. But the question is, which are born in 1844? As a large visited in the Galaxy site. Yes, yes. When was and that? He's spoken to them that no, this is not real. He has to make it in a go and read that. Understand? That is where in our manifesto we tell you that we are going to do it but in such a way that it becomes very responsible and the persons are not affected in whatever they are doing. Step into well, the I world of Dewa. Step into the world of Dewa. Five thirty-nine for your chance to win. Big with Dewa they were direct and they were chop money. With they, they, they were direct, you dial star four four six hash. You pick the range of the numbers one to thirty nine. You get to win big twenty times, forty times, or four hundred times your stake. 
and then you get to win big cash every evening at 7 p.m. and also on Sundays at 6 p.m. Now, early birds, they also love Dewa Chop Money. And so at 10 a.m., you have to dial the numbers, star 446 hash. You choose a range of the numbers as you also get to play online. Dewa-NLA.com. All right. So, what do you mean? Um, good morning. Good morning to all of you. We're taking a break. We'll be right back with the latest sports headlines. And then we'll be live for Community Manifesto. Community Manifesto Abuabo Lorry Station today. The Tamale Central constituency. You live there. All right. So, we'll be there for Community Manifesto. We have Cash Out, Star 439 Hash. And you know, Alan is good.